What's up guys, today we got the Pixel 7 Pro versus the iPhone 15 Pro Max. This is a comparison I wanted to see because I wanted to see the cameras. As you guys know, I'm a huge Pixel fan when it comes to cameras. I think it takes the best photos as far as still photography. And I think the video is improving. If you guys uh, don't know, I take all of my YouTube shorts with the Pixel 7 Pro. Um, I really like the video, but you know, you can argue that they, they got to do some work on the video for sure. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and get into this. I want to kick it off with the cameras, actually. Let's just go ahead and get into the camera comparison. All right, so the Pixel, and I know we have the Pixel 8 Pro coming out soon. I've been kind of following the leaks. Um, it looks like it might be this month in October, maybe come out late October. Um, but yeah, so the Pixel 7 Pro has a 50 megapixel camera, a 48 megapixel telephoto on here. You also have five times optical zoom, a 12 megapixel ultra wide on here in 4k 60 video and then you also have a 10.8 megapixel uh, selfie cam that is also 4k 60 now the iPhone does have the new 48 megapixel standard I don't think it's new actually uh, but they have improved the cameras on here uh, but it's a 12 megapixel periscope telephoto and then it does also five times optical zoom so I took a lot of five times zoom because I want to see like which telephoto lens was better um, and it also has a 12 megapixel ultra wide. It shoots in 4K 60 with a 12 megapixel selfie that shoots in 4K 60. So check out these side by side stills. Let me know what you guys think. All right, let's talk about the displays here. So the Pixel has a 6.7 inch display. It's LTPO AMOLED, 120 Hertz, HDR10+, 1500 nits peak brightness, 1440p. It's a really nice display. And 512 for the PPI, so super sharp and has the punch hole. It is a curved display, which I heard they were moving away from that, but I really like the curve. Um, but yeah, so the iPhone, it does have the 6.7 inch display. It's LTPO, uh, XDR OLED, 120 Hertz HDR 10 it's super bright at 2000 nits peak brightness so definitely a little bit brighter in direct sunlight for sure and then it's 1290 by 2796 464 the PPI it has the dynamic island basically a sort of like multitasking tray which you guys know my opinions on it I don't really find myself using it all that too much uh, there's just not a lot of apps that support it in my opinion um, uh, but yeah I do like the pixels display a little bit more um, just because of it just has a smaller punch hole and um, yeah they're both really nice displays though so you know you might like the iPhones display more because it's completely flat and stuff like that um, yeah but they're both really nice displays very high res and like I said there's really no difference with the displays besides like the punch hole really um, they're both super super smooth feeling now this might surprise a lot of you guys just looking at these Geekbench scores uh, you see a significant difference in the single and multi-core score but with Google updating this phone and I always say the pixels are some of the smoothest phones 
uh, that you can buy, uh, you guys will see that Google's been doing a really good job with this phone, even though it's not, you know, a, a benchmark, you know, beast and stuff like that. Uh, these phones typically never are, really. Now, I've always said this, but to me, the Pixels have the s smoothest UI, um, just some of the smoothest animations. It's really, like, buttery smooth. I think it's smoother than iOS, honestly. Um, but, yeah, so when it comes to overall application launching and stuff like that, Guys, I'm telling you, it's really not that significantly different. Um, and like I said, with smoothness and animations, it's not that different. So as you guys can see, the Pixel is pretty much keeping up with this phone, even you know at some points time within. Like I said, the scrolling on the Pixel is just buttery, buttery smooth. Instagram. So you can see it's really not that much faster, really. Um, you probably see a bigger difference when you get into games and stuff like that, but again, nope, not even really a bigger difference there. Um, so like I said, when it comes to speed, don't let these benchmarks test fool you and stuff like that. Um, that's something that, you know, just people in the tech reviewing space, they like to throw out benchmarks and stuff. But in reality, these phones, they're the, the Pixel is just as fast as the iPhone, even though this phone just destroys it when it comes to the, the Geekbench scores, right? Even when it comes to stuff like gaming, um, the Pixel does a pretty good job. I've never had this phone actually overheat uh, on me, and you can play at HDR Extreme on here, and it's really, really smooth, so no issues with gaming. Obviously, it's not going to be as powerful when it comes to probably all the games and really going intense with games like maybe Genshin Impact and just playing for a long period of time. Um, but from what we've seen with the iPhone, it's been having some overheating problems and stuff like that. It could be just some software stuff, or I don't, I'm not really sure what it is. Um, but of course the iPhone is going to run really smooth. Um, yeah, so gaming on here is on both of these phones is pretty good. But like I said, a lot of people, they think the Pixel is not, is just going to be significantly slower than the iPhone. It's really not the case. And I think for a casual person, um, the Pixel is more than enough power uh, to be able to, you know, do intensive applications and you know, a little bit of gaming and stuff like that. So definitely keep that into consideration. Let's check out these speakers, max volume. Kind of sounds similar. Uh, they're both almost just as loud. I think the Pixel has better bass. I can hear the low notes on the bass really well, actually. Um, but they sound pretty similar, actually. The iPhone does have a harder hitting bass, slightly, but the Pixel has a more clear bass. Like, I think the sound is a little bit clearer. Um, but yeah, really good speakers on both of these phones. And you also do have in-display fingerprint sensor, which is really fast. And you can also take advantage of face unlock, which is something that I really enjoy. On the iPhone, you just have the face ID, which is also very secure and very fast. All right, so let's talk about battery life. The Pixel has a 5,000 milliamp hour battery, 23 watt wire charging, 23 watt wireless charging and reverse wireless charging. The iPhone has a 4,401 milliamp hour battery, 25 watt wire charging, wireless charging at 15, and then wireless and reverse wire charging. Um, so basically, the iPhone definitely gets uh, more screen on time for sure. This is the area where I want to see Pixel uh, improve a little bit is with the battery. So hopefully we see that uh, with the Pixel 8 Pro. Um, but battery life is not bad on the Pixel. It's just kind of average. But the iPhone and like the Galaxy S23, um, those phones are definitely above average when it comes to screen on time. Um, so yeah, so the battery situation is pretty good. Like I said, the Pixel having reverse wireless charging is always a nice addition uh, as well. And I think lastly, I wanted to touch on the hardware. Um, the Pixel does have just a really unique design that I'm really starting to grow. Google has, you know, definitely find their design and they're definitely sticking with this from what... 
uh, we're seeing here and I just really like it I, I like how it looks it's very distinct when you look at this phone you know it's a pixel um, the iPhone it has the new titanium design as well too and it's definitely pretty light for a big phone so that's pretty cool and also you have the addition of USB type C uh, you also have the action button uh, on the iPhone as well too but you can pretty much make an action button on the pixel if you really wanted to um, they're both glass and metal IP68 dust and water resistant as well too so I think two very nice looking phones uh, honestly so that pretty much is it guys be sure to let me know what you guys think and I'll catch you guys in the next one